Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. And this week, starting today, we're going to knock this mill, milling machine project out. I need to get it done. I just need to do the big push like we did on the uh, lathe headstock powered mill. So as you may know, this is my old vertical milling machine. It's a jet. It used to have a Kent head on it. The head blew up. This thing has a lot of wear in it. Not, not crazy, but wear, significant wear. It was missing a bunch of parts when I got it. I may have had to make a lead screw for it, and I used to use it like that. Oh, there was a handle on it. But So what I'm going to do is turn. I do a very repeat job. And I do a lot of pump pads. So I drill and tap a lot of three-quarter inch plate and stuff like that. So I'm going to set this up as a heavy duty drill press with much more flexibility. So that way it will still be a very useful item for the shop and uh, I'll be able to, you know, the head that goes on it is this head. I picked this up a while ago if you remember. Everything in the head works fine. All the power feeds and the variable speed stuff works. But the motor was bad. So I modified that. And you'll see that again in the video tomorrow or the day after. So, I'm going to get the head mounted, and then we're going to start looking at a, a mounting another motor. Because I want to just save this mill set up for, you know, normal milling work. Just use this as a dedicated drilling and tapping machine. So that's what I'm going to do with it. Because it needs a lot of work to bring it, to make it an accurate mill. The Comet mill is much is in very very good shape, so I don't do the long stuff I can do in the horizontal mills. So, but I do a, in the work I do a lot of drilling and tapping. So I got only two of the bolts, so I got three, but I don't have enough for that one. So what I'm going to do is for now take these, put a washer on them, weld the washer on. And grind it flat so it goes in here so it can't get out so it doesn't just turn because also this head is going to be locked straight up and down probably the rest of its life so i'm not going to mess around much with the uh, i'll dial it in and it'll tr just stay there so that'll be more than adequate for that so let me get a couple of those made up and let's get this project going Okay, our bolts made. They're a little, a little rough and ready, but I did order some. I got on eBay and found some, but these will do more than adequate for what we need. So now, you see this piece missing here. Put in the four bolts. That's the two original. They're out of the way. The ones I made fit in there nice and tight. Very little play in them. That's my first time using that welder too. Need to do some some tinkering with it. 
I think the uh, either the drive rollers need tightened up on the on the wire or uh, might need a new uh, gun or liner. I did okay. Snag this guy up. Okay, now our mounting bolts are in the head. So I think there's enough room to get my cherry picker back here to get the head lifted up. I'll move some things. And hopefully we'll get the head bolted on tonight. I will uh, do some moving of things. I would bring the gantry crane back here, but there's the motor height is too tall. So... Okay, let me get some equipment back here and I'll bring it back. Okay, got it on the uh, cherry picker, lined up. I'll set you up on the tripod so I can get this done. I want to get the head mounted tonight. It's going on six o'clock at night. I got other stuff to do. See, I wish I was one of those big, huge machinist YouTubers and I could put out one video on this week and that'd be all I need to do. But no, I actually like to get stuff done. So let's get this mounted. So we can move on to the next step. Let me get you set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, head is mounted. I got my ratchet on the thing. You see, the adjuster works perfectly fine. So, yeah, very cool. I'm going to leave it roughly trammed in there for now. Take you out of the thing here. There we go. Sorry. Sorry about the glare. Yes. The Acer head fits more or less onto the Kent slash Jet vertical mill machine. So, holes lined up. As you can see, that collar was a little smaller. We were cinched up good. Okay, this part's done. The bolts worked out very good. Need to snug the other one down. But I'll, I'll just keep that till it gets trammed in. So next we will address putting the old motor stuff back in. And then we'll look at mounting the new motor to power that motor. So yeah, got a lot done today. Very good. Very pleased with today's progress. This is Adam from Small Time Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.